Okay, this is a follow-up of the video about the cannonballs. Coming up. So there's been quite a discussion on his showroom uh, about the video. Okay, the cannonballs for field guns, but what about naval artillery? Uh, now, that's a very good question. My answer and my thinking is the following. A. In naval warfare, chain balls are very important. In that case, a ball makes more sense than an aerodynamic body. The second element is that till well within the 19th century, naval battles, naval fight, have been resolved firing in broadsides at short range. And so if you fire broadsides at short range, probably the precision is not that big there. But given that, I still believe that in, let's say, 18th century, Naval artillery could have benefited by a projectile a streamlined, elongated, in an aerodynamic body, thin stabilized, shot by the cannon. Probably this would have brought a better range and a better precision. The only explanation that I have at this point is really nobody thought about it. But there's also the issue of standardization with other weapons, but also the possibility that really nobody really thought about it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. By the way, one of the viewers was very vocal because he wanted to see a cannon firing. So... Tolerance is... Elstree Forum Wood, Mill Hill Broadway, and...